Sign over cosine. Sign over cosine. Whoa! stuff in pre-calf all year and it, it's way too hard like I got nothing all right Joe well the first thing I know with the inner circle is it's all one all right all races are one go Cardinals gotcha. okay so all the way around the circle it's all one but what does that mean well, Joe, if all, if all the radiuses are one, that means all hypotheses are one. So, let's start off, let's start this off. What is this angle? 30 degrees. Okay. What is this angle? 45 degrees. And what is this angle? 60 degrees. Okay. What is that angle? 90. Okay. Now, after this, the unit circle repeats itself, okay? Now, looking at this, can you notice a pattern here? At 30, at 15, at 15, at 30. Okay, so what's the next angle? 120. Okay. And this angle? 135. And this angle? 150. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Mr. James Plesky, I get that. But what about radians? Well, Jonah, to know the range of the entire unit circle, all you do is memorize the first quadrant. So we start off with pi over 6, pi over 4, pi over 3, and then we end up with pi over 2. Now, do you want to fill in the rest of these? Sure, why not? Alright. Go Cardinals. Okay, so pi over 6, 2 pi over 6, 3 pi over 6. Six, which is equal to two pi over three. Hmm, interesting. So first you went around with pi over six, you filled in all the ones like that, and you went around by pi over three and filled in, filled in all your missing ones. Because the pattern goes 30, 15, 15, 30. Yeah, I just started at pi over six, went all the way around with that, then did pi over four, and then pi over three. And I got them all. You gotta reduce, but it's easy. Okay. Very good, Joe. Well, the last part I want to teach you is about sine, cosine, and tangent. Alright. Now, what are the coordinates for 0 or 360? 1, 0. Okay. Or 30. One square root of three over two, one half. And for 45? Square root of two over two, square root of two over two. And for 60? One half square root of three over two. And 90? Zero, one. Okay. And then after that, it just repeats itself. It goes 1 half, square root of 3 over 2, square root of 2 over 2, square root of 2 over 2, and then square root of 3 over 2, and then 1 half, and then it goes down to 0, and I get 1. And then the whole bottom just repeats itself. The only difference is, do you got to remember what quadrant you're in? If you're in this quadrant, all the first all the x values are going to be negative. So that's a negative, that's a negative, that's a negative. So this whole one is negative positive. This quadrant is negative negative. And then this quadrant is positive negative. Understand? Yeah, all right, I get all that. Cool. But what about sine, cosine, and tangent? 
All right, Joe, you ready for this? All right. What is this? That's the x-axis. Okay, that's the x-axis. What is this? The y-axis. When you get coordinates, it goes x, y, right? Yeah. It goes this way, then that way, and you get your point, right? You plot your line. Okay. All right. So you got x, you got y, okay? And here it's the same thing, right? Take 30 degrees. Square root of 3 over 2, 1, half, okay? Okay. Cosine equals x. Sine equals y. All these are sine and cosine. Right there. We gotta do it. Right tangent or tangent? Tangent equals sine or cosine. Sine over cosine. So that's y over x. That's one half over square root of three over two. So that's two. Square root of three. Two is cancel. You got one over square root. Whoa. Oh, I get tangent now. Dylan! Joe, help. Love Dylan. Dylan! What's going on? Joe, Joe, come on, you gotta help. <sighs> this guy means business. Alright. Calm down. What do you want? What do you want? Come on. Come on, Joe. You know this. Come on. Tangent, you do. Cosine. I think you in a circle. Everything's one. Square root of three over three. <laughs> you want it dirty? Dirty! What do you know about that? Dude, we finally found out what mass is good for. Being terrorists! Yeah, I feel so ridiculous. I like them too. Stupid jacket.